to start our day, gonna be doing some meetings today. <laughs> Time to call the elevator, turn all the lights in the house off. So it is super humid today. <laughs> all right, off we go. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. We're off to the HQ. We're gonna be having a meeting with one of the employees. And we have a Zoom call with some of our Chinese downline. So we've been thinking about what to tell them. And I think a lot of the times people have the basics of, they have the understanding of what it is that they need to do, but the issue is, is not being able to follow through with them. That's always the biggest issue, right? It's not about not knowing what to do, but following through with what you need to do. And that's why discipline is so important. At the same time, being consistent with what you're doing, you know? Oh, so much rain. The rain is coming down. One, two, three. Yeah, so the roads are pretty small here in my neighborhood for safety reasons, they say. So all the kids, like all the crossings, they have no lights. Everybody just stops for them. So a lot of individuals, they know what to do, but they have a big issue with following through. And then it's the repetitive aspect of doing this business, right? A lot of individuals continue to do it for a bit and then they figure, ah, oh, it's not working. So they keep changing things up or they're unable to continue to do the same thing. And sometimes it's not easy, you know, saying the same thing over and over. Yeah, so everybody knows what they need to do. The issue is always, you know, following through with it, being consistent. And I think we have to start that habit from the day that you register, right? Giving the understanding and helping those who sign up to understand what is expected of them and what they should be doing uh, from the very beginning, even though they're not a business, right? So that would be good. If they have that mindset of wanting to make money, right? And I think majority of everyone falls under that category. Um, they'll say, oh, I don't wanna do the business or I'm not interested in doing the business. I just love the products. But in time, let's say that they love the products, they shared the products, the products then created more customers, right? Because of their ability to do so. As the products are working for you, you start to gain more consumers. So. As soon as you have your own consumer, what are you? You're an owner, okay? You don't walk into a restaurant one day as a consumer and eat some noodles and all of a sudden, when you invite somebody to go eat with you, you don't become an owner, right? But in this business, is very unique. Once you register somebody and they do the business through you, you have just become an owner without even knowing. So this fine line and this understanding of these things, I think should be addressed with everyone. So there's a huge tunnel that connects like the whole city underground and everything's covered like this. This also keeps the noise pollution out around the neighborhoods since the sound, it doesn't have anywhere to go. And then it transforms to regular roads. Let's see if we can make the light. Can we make it, can we make it? Yes. Okay. So 
Actually, it is raining a lot, so there's a little bit more traffic than usual. I don't know why it keeps coming and cutting out, but... Okay. So we live about 20, 15, 20 minutes away from HQ. If there's no traffic, about 10, 15. It's not too far. But we moved over here because I had to go to the office so often because I was meeting so many people for um, this and that. And we were driving. I used to live about two and a half hours away. So we were driving about five hours both ways, um, back and forth, and even like two, three times a week sometimes. So we decided for the time being, it would be better to be out here, closer to the office. And I think it was a good decision. And when you're doing this work, you know, it's amazing how you're able to help individuals around you, influence them, and get them going the right way. And I've come to understand and learn that Atomy allows you to grow as a person, like a lot, right? I always talk about how there's eight steps to success and how we can implement those steps towards reaching our goals. If you haven't seen it, go on uh, YouTube, type Coach Jew, Eight Steps to Success, and you'll see uh, a video from probably like seven, eight years ago. Still a pretty good one, so check that out. But the most important thing before the step one that I always talk about is becoming a, a person who has integrity, right? Who gives value. Um, so quote unquote, a good person, right? Now, that is, that is very important because if you don't do that, then what happens? Then nobody wants to remain around you. Nobody wants to be around you. And if you're unable to create a community of members who are working towards the same goal together, then you'll forever be working by yourself. So you can't succeed without a team. It's not possible, okay? No matter what business you're doing, you have to learn how to cultivate and create a culture and community that is for each other, okay? Step zero is, you know, let's try to be a person of integrity, okay? A person who is able to the others are able to turn to. That's the most important thing, right? I have to keep my eyes on the road. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the most important thing. And if you don't have that understanding, then you're gonna continue to build your business on your own. And building the business on your own will not equate to success. Now, you'll love the products, and the products will continue to, you know, benefit you every single day, but you're not going to be able to make the desired paycheck that you are here for, okay? There are so many individuals um, that understand the vision, but aren't able to take action, and I don't want you to be one of those, okay? I want you to be able to take action and create success, and Atomy should be a stepping stone for a better future. You know, I always call Atomy the stepping stone or a bridge to a better future because you're able to create passive income from this structure. And once you're able to do that, you're of course gonna reinvest into Atomy because it's your business, just like any business, right? Um, if you're not gonna be reinvesting anything back into Atomy, into your community, into your downline, then of course it's not going to do well. It can't do well, right? So you have to reinvest. But apart from that, your profits that you're going to get from this business, you're able to reinvest that now into another financial tool that'll bring you success. So all these things are created 
with just the decision to get started. That is what Atomy has done for me and it's been that kind of amazing journey where we're not just doing Atomy, right? In terms of our last endeavor, but it is a stepping stone to something greater. So for me, it's allowing me to do ministry. It's allowing me to do missions work, right? So I'm self-sustaining. I remember when I was a university student at ORU, um, we had an amazing you know, missions team. We had an amazing community outreach team. And I remember um, the leaders going to Atlanta and going to one of the shelters and one of the self-sustaining nonprofits that they had, a woman's shelter and for the homeless. And it was more of a job rehabilitation plan for um, individuals who needed work, right? So they would help them out and they would teach them how to cook. And I remember that place, they would cater and they would make profit and with that profit, they would continue to run the facilities. And I thought to myself, what better kind of um, business uh, would that be if we're able to do that, you know? Let's see if we can tilt this up a little bit. What is wrong with this camera? How amazing would that be, right guys? To be able to do something like that. To be able to help individuals out, to be able to do the things that would be for a profit. And you can use those profits to run that nonprofit, right? So if it's self-sustaining is the point, right? So I wanted to create a business that's a self-sustaining. But when I met Atomy, it's the most amazing thing ever. It's self-sustaining. It starts from the level of just using the products and savings from the products itself helps to sustain your consuming habit. So you get free products pretty much, okay? Because you're getting paid to use the products, right? So in the beginning stages through Atomy, you are saving money on the products, so therefore, you're gonna to wanna to continue to use it. Now, when you get to the next step, when you help other individuals save on products, then you are now able to create and generate money, commissions. And remember, it's all profit because you were gonna go have tea with that person anyways because you're gonna be building it in your community. You were gonna have lunch with that person anyways. You were gonna go over there to their house and have dinner anyways. Whatever it is, right? Atomy is built into your daily life. So therefore, it doesn't cost you anything to run the business, okay? Now, that's a step beyond what I always say, you know, no registration fees, no monthly purchase requirements, all these things, right? Beyond that is what I just explained. And once you create that, you're gonna start gaining commission that's gonna allow you to consume your products for free. But then when you help other individuals do the same thing, you go to the next tier, and the next tier is having cash in the bank. And with that, you can do so much more. Let's say that right now, okay, you're making $5,000 a month at your job, okay? And through Atomy, you are able to create another 5,000, okay? Well, I don't recommend that everybody all of a sudden just quit their job. No, keep doing what you're doing. I hope you love what you do. Now, if you don't, then I'm not sure, you know, but if you're loving what you're doing, keep doing it and be a blessing to those around you by sharing the information that you can create 5,000 as well. You know, that's what you tell them. And you show them the process. And with that extra 5,000, now you can do much more. Maybe you wanted to help with missions. Maybe you wanted to sponsor a child through compassion. Maybe you wanted to, you know, 
um, create a side, a savings account for the kids to go to university. Whatever it is, you now have extra income to do that. So it's a bridge, it's a stepping stone. It allows you to build financial freedom and you didn't have to invest or risk anything. You were gonna have coffee with your friends anyways. You were gonna do all these things. And you're sharing to individuals about Atomy and the value in which Atomy can give to them. Remember that. It's not, hey, let me sell you some sunscreen. Hey, let me sell you some skincare. No. It's about sharing your testimony and talking to them about a product that has helped you and that can help them, right? Everybody's all about K-beauty nowadays. Everybody, right? Everybody knows that Korean cosmetics are amazing. So you're not gonna catch anybody off guard. At the same time, the price speaks for itself. The eye cream that we have versus others, you can buy a whole set right the absolute for the price of one eye cream that they sell okay you can go to the website check out the prices but like I said it's free so once you have this understanding then now it becomes discipline okay you have to break out of your comfort zone at times because sometimes people aren't good at sharing and you have a mental block and you know why it's because you feel like you're selling to people you yourself are not even convinced that what you're doing is helping individuals because you're afraid of what they're gonna think for me you know sharing the gospel used to be hard because I didn't want people to think I was weird I didn't want to be intrusive you know but after doing Atomy and doing all these things I began to understand that it's their choice to do with whatever they want with the information presented right if there's no risk to that person who's getting signed up, okay, who's able to use the products and do the business. If there's no risk, no risk whatsoever, okay, in terms of financial risk, okay, then why not share? You're not forcing them to do anything and they will make the decision if they want to do it or if they don't want to do it, right? And if you're unable to do that, then of course your business won't grow. But I believe that individuals are unable to do that not because an issue with Atomy, but a personal issue. And usually those personal issues, it's the lack of understanding in the Atomy business model and being afraid of what other people are gonna think right so for me doing Atomy for the past 10 plus years has been amazing why it's helped me to get a thick skin it helped it's helped me to understand people like I've met thousands of amazing people thousands of many types of people right the diversity of individuals that I've met amazing so I think I learned so much in the past 10 years than I'll probably learn in the next, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> now that has helped me be able to share the gospel to so many people as well. But it's a win-win, right? It's a win-win. Here we are. We are at the HQ. Dun, dun, dun. Add at me.
道人会来，所以我说这一次我无无论如何也要去，而且要带着这两个月飞翔的团队一起过去。Got done eating. It was a very long meeting, but very fruitful, very eventful. So that's how you do it.、Um, just one meeting at a time, one person at a time, one group at a time. And as you continue to do that,、um, the downline will continue to grow, and you'll be able to continue to lay one brick at a time. And sooner or later,、uh, your house will be finished, your passive income will be finished, and you'll be able to、uh, benefit from that. But during that process,、uh, you'll be helping many people, and、uh, they'll be finishing their houses as well. So now. On the way back home to go pick up the kids, to go hang out,、uh, it's not raining anymore, so weather's gotten a lot better. Maybe we will go for a run. I think that's what we should do. I think I ate too much, way too much. I feel like I gained a few pounds just from, yeah, just me. <laughs> I ate nutties too. <laughs> I ate mine plus another bowl plus nutties. <laughs> That's why all this running isn't helping, guys. <laughs> all the running is just keeping me at equilibrium. I'm supposed to be gaining muscle, losing fat, but I think I just keep gaining fat. <laughs> but anyways, it's a typical day, you know. Got up in the morning, took care of the kids, helped them with their homework. Fed him, sent him off. Since we live so close to school, you know they can just walk. And then got ready, went to the office, hung out for a bit, did a meeting, had lunch, and now we're back. That's the life of a MLM top earner. <laughs> Super chill, <laughs> making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just doing this, <laughs> and it's the same as、uh, when we were making just a few dollars. Nothing's different. It's just your consistency and your work lays the foundation, one brick at a time, and through that, you are able to amass a big group because that's just how the compensation plan works. How amazing is that, right? So, consistency, doing the same thing, building consumers, managing team, building rapport, training, and continuing the process. That's all we've been doing, you know. I'm still registering people to this day, and I'm still training people, <clears throat> mentoring, guiding, and it's fun. There's so many amazing stories of individuals' lives being changed. You know, stay-at-home moms who needed extra cash but didn't have the availability in their schedule to, you know, to go to work physically,、um, or people not being able to accommodate their hours, wanting to start their own business but not having enough capital. Unable to take on the risk, or not having the ability to do the business, so whatever it may be, you know, Adamy has the answers to all of those, and、um, you're able to benefit from all of the situations that you may think、um, you won't be able to do well in, but you will. Adamy is for everyone, so I hope you all, right, somebody listening on the other side. Uh, gets encouraged and is empowered to get the ball rolling. Peace. Nani told me I have a meeting tomorrow that I had no clue about. <laughs> Sometimes your manager schedules meetings without even confirming with you. <laughs> My manager. <laughs>